right, uh, let's uh, move on then. Let's get our next corporate in, Thomax. Well, lots of stock in focus. Uh, to get a sense if uh, there is any deceleration in the overall CAPEX cycle, that to in a rising interest rate scenario, well, we are joined by Mr. Ashish Bandari, the managing director and the chief executive uh, officer at the company. Uh, hi, Ashish. Morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, uh, you know, there is that fear out there. Interest rates are going up. There's fear there's going to be a bit of a slowdown. Are you seeing signs of that or is demand strong enough? And if yes, what kind of an order inflow are you estimating for this year? Go ahead. Hey, a very good morning to you and to all your viewers. And uh, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, the question that you're asking is actually the question we are asking as well, <laughs> which is what point does, uh, do we see around the corner and is there something around the corner that we can't see uh, right now? Uh, as we look at our numbers and we see demand still holding strong in India, um, as I have shared previously as well, we are well above the pre-COVID levels now in terms of activity that we are seeing. And the activity has been across all sectors. Um, and you know, it started with food, pharma, chemicals initially, and right now uh, much stronger in steel, cement, refining, and petrochem. Uh, that's where the larger projects are coming from. And we are seeing companies like uh, Ultratech, ACC, um, still announcing new projects. Uh, moreover, for a company like Thermax, there is also an impact for a lot of companies looking to rebalance their energy portfolios, looking at how do I become more sustainable in my energy needs? How do you um, work outside of coal, look at biomass, different other options, uh, renewables to power? So there's a second stream of activity also heading out there. Um, that said, I think we all have, we are looking at our uh, order inquiry almost on a weekly basis um, in terms of the new inflows of uh, inquiries that are coming in. And there we have seen some slowdown in the last uh, one month, I would say, but we need a longer trend to come back and share whether that is real or or is that something that, that's just a seasonal impact and, and will uh, strengthen again now that the rains are expected to be normal. So can you give us some numbers, Ashish? Your base orders were quite strong in Q4 at about 1600 crore plus from steel, cement, pharma, etc. A lot of companies have also benefited from the PLI, the China plus one strategy uh, and uh, you know lower interest rates. So can you tell us what is a sustainable growth in orders? What's the visibility like over the next uh, 6 to 12 months? See, I'll look at um, and Thermax, I think some sometimes the focus goes on some of our Larger, larger orders, which we have to report to the street. And you're exactly right. Their focus has been on building that base business, which is a mix of standard products, services, and getting that base to become bigger and bigger. That has come up to 1,600 crores. I think we are confident we can hold that base. Yeah, some of those larger projects are more dependent on um, refining and petrochemical, dependent on uh, cement, steel, so some of these industries where not only do they have to go through a CAPEX cycle, but also these are uh, often L1 bids where you have to emerge as the winner. Our focus is more in making sure that our base book, which is driven by standard products, services, continues to grow bigger and bigger, which is partly driven by the economic environment, a lot driven also by our own internal efforts. That number, which is 1,500, 1,600 crores, should be a minimum that we should be able to hold on to. Minimum per quarter is what you're saying? Yeah, per quarter. Yeah, okay, exactly. so per quarter, 1500, 1600 crores from the traditional business, steel, cement, pharma, etc. But I think the street is also looking forward to the new initiatives, right? You spoke about solar, uh, there's also the waste to energy, so biomass, ethanol, sugar. I know it's a very small portion of your business, but can you tell us what are the initial orders looking like over there and how much can you grow that pie to? So actually, I call that as part of my 1600 number, where actually the bigger projects from steel, cement and refining are not in that number. But waste to energy, which is looking at all, as an example, looking at all distilleries, sugar plants, 2G ethanol related effects, uh, where we can take all kinds of waste streams from, uh, from any of these sources, waste to energy related projects. These are all small going from anywhere from 25 to 
150 crores kind of projects, um, doing dozens and dozens of these yeah, across industries, uh, making them very efficient, bringing digital solutions into play so that we can offer customers peace of mind in terms of as they're looking at more and more diverse energy sources, they are able to understand that their asset is working well and performing right. adequately. So that's, that's a big part of our focus. Uh, Mr. Bandari, hi, good morning, uh, Prashant. Here. Just a couple of questions. One, if you could uh, broadly break up your uh, you know, business via end user industries, I mean, in terms of order flow. <laughs> so that's very interesting. We've looked at our data for the last uh, good three to four years. And across that time period, our top seven industries are all right around that eight to 12% mark each. And they range from um, uh, refining, cement, steel, food, pharma, uh, chemicals, and then diverse infrastructure segments here. So the good part of Thermax is, uh, for example, we work, uh, the strongest part of our business has actually been our a channel network. We work with more than 140 channel partners across India, uh, looking at sectors from textiles, pulp and paper, right. uh, tire, rubber, so no, no over a variety of different industries and beyond these. Okay, no, no large concentration in that sense. You know, in the first uh, answer, as part of it, you said uh, uh, you you uh, there's some slowdown in the last one month. Uh, any, and you said it could be seasonal, but is there any seasonality which could explain this? And also you uh, uh, said that now that rains were expected to be normal, uh, it, uh, let's hope it is, but at this stage we are not sure it is going to be. How does, I mean, how large a variable is that for your business? So it's not that much of a variable. What we are seeing is this whole uh, move towards biomass and 2G ethanol and, and now the agriculture sector coming into getting connected with the industrial piece, wherein um, several different industries are, for example, uh, one of the big moves right now is people looking to balance out of coal and looking at biomass as an option. Um, sugar industry is doing well and looking at 2G ethanol or setting up distilleries. Uh, all of these have been strong markets. Yeah, and, and if agriculture does well, then there's more biomass coming into supply which means more people want to use that biomass in productive ways. So there is, there is a relationship in that part of the space, which is relating to waste to energy in some ways, or agro waste to energy or biomass to energy has been exceptionally strong for Thermax. Um, and that does depend a little bit on how kind of some of these uh, related industries are doing. Of course, agriculture also affects the overall sentiment, it affects how inflation looks, which then affects some of our other ancillary industries as well. Overall, I would say, see the, the question that you asked on, do I see this as a seasonal impact or not? It's tough to say, yeah, our businesses are changing. If I look at our trends from uh, pre-COVID times, I think we are a slightly different company than what we were uh, because of some of these changes. Um, so I'm, I, I would like to look at a three-month trend to come back and say, is this uh, slowdown um, um, a very specific one or is it more in our minds where we expect things to slow down and we're seeing that in our numbers? Okay. All right. Uh, let's get a couple of numbers going before we let you go, Mr. Bandari. For the year, in terms of execution, in terms of a revenue growth, what kind of a number are you working with? And also margins in the past quarter will have dipped. But now a lot of, uh, you know, industry, uh, uh, you know, experts, they come in and they say that inflation is cooling down a little bit. Input costs are cooling down, which could give some bit of relief. What kind of a band will you be looking at for the year on the whole? Look, I won't share numbers on profitability margins and probably more so because we need to deliver and then we can talk about it. Uh, you are correct. We are seeing metal prices come down um, and that massive spike that we had in February, March, early parts of April has come down quite a bit. And in most grades of metal, we are back to where we were in December, which is, uh, which is good news. Uh, um, the question that you were asking is, which we're all asking, does this mean that some of these industries which were giving us this growth will also slow down and that remains to be seen. But we do think commodity prices have cooled down uh, to some extent. Yeah, there are some specific grades like 
uh, seamless tubes, etc., where the pricing is still higher. But more or less, we see a trend towards um, manageability in these in this pricing. Uh, Brent continues to be high, and that affects our chemicals business. But more or less, the numbers are under control. Uh, without any COVID impact, supply chain disruptions, we are predicting based on our order book a very healthy uh, growth in uh, revenue again. We should be able to do um, 25 to 30 percent kind of a growth rate on our on our revenue numbers for the year. Orders is where I would want to wait and watch because there are just too many moving parts uh, uh, right now. I've talked about how we're looking at our base business and then the, some of the bigger projects on top. Okay. Uh, we leave it at that. Ashish, thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, it was a pleasure speaking to you. Learned a lot about uh, the way forward for your business and the new areas that Thermax is getting into. Uh, let's slip into a break. Very quiet for the market. Perhaps just wait and watch. A